If you want to fly it on the FPV mode then you have to buy the goggles 3 and you have to buy the remote 3 so the cost will be close to a water 2 so why not a water 2. DJI Neo vs DJI Avatar 2 which one you should buy in 2024 let's talk about it hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will talk in detail whether you should buy DJI Neo or DJI Avatar 2 in 2024 there's a lot of things to explain I'll try my best to explain you each and everything you need to know about this DJI Neo whether you should buy it or not let's talk about this DJI Neo it will cost it cost only 199 for the base package for the base package where you only get this drone only and if you want to buy a flyball combo that goes around 270 dollars and if you go one more one step further and if you want to fly as a fpv drone then you will have to buy the goggles 3 and you will have to buy the motion controller 3 and the remote 3 then the cost will be around 800 or 900 on the other hand the dji Awata 2 the flymo package you get in that package you get the drone you get the F goggles 3 and you get the uh, motion controller and the Avatar 2 has a better camera and the better FPV and immersive experience so which one you should buy let's get into it the reason you should buy a DJI Neo its price point is very affordable pocket friendly and if you are a beginner and you want to come into a DJI ecosystem this is on this drone is for you yes for you if you never had a DJI drone before very portable very easy to fly reason you should not buy the DJI Neo the later on if you decide to upgrade and if you decide to fly it as a FPV drone and you want to buy the goggles and the controller then this drone will be very expensive then you should just go for a DJI Avatar 2 which has the better flight which has a better flight performance better battery life and the camera quality it's very nice on this drone as well and you can have a very immersive experience while you are flying DJI Avatar 2 the reason number two to buy a DJI Neo because of its quick hands-free features oh, wow. it has the six flight modes Drone, circle rocket spotlight direction track which you can it has the six flight modes which you can control right from the drone you don't need any controller you don't need any remote you can just fly it through the drone and it's very portable if you want to traveling if you want to put it in your pocket it's very friendly very portable design and the downside is this drone it weighs only 137 grams and if you are flying this drone in a windy conditions even if it's a slightly wind this drone will start drifting and it increase the altitude okay we lost the connection uh, i guess i have to bring it back home might crash as well i did have the wind problem with this drone when i was having my range test on this drone i will put the link down in the below you can have a look on that so this drone with the slightly windy condition this drone it will start giving you warnings so if you keep avoiding those warnings you might lose your drone on the other hand this DJI Avatar 2 it can fight with the winds it's a warrior in the winds I did have uh, the wind test on this drone as well actually I had uh, a wind test on this drone with the air blower this drone can handle the winds very nicely the max limit on this drone is 50 kilometers per hour wind but I applied 130 with the artificial air blower but this drone was performing very nicely and it was stable in the air the reason number three why you should buy the DJI Neo because of its quick features easy to use very portable you can 
fly it right through your hand you don't need a controller you don't need a cell phone you can capture the nice cinematic shots with this drone without any phone or controller but the downside is the camera quality on this drone is not very good you can capture nice videos but when it comes to low light or indoor videos this drone cannot perform very well on the other hand the DJI Avatar 2 it has one over one by seven CMOS sensor which can perform even in the low light very nice very immersive experience even if you are recording at daylight it gives you 4k 60 and DJI Neo it has 4k 30 12 megapixel camera which is good for the beginners the reason number four this DJI Neo it does not have any obstacle avoidance so if you are flying it on let's say on quick short moves let's say you are flying on if you are having a follow mood or track mood this drone is following you if anything comes in front of it it's going to crash and even the active track also is not very nice on this drone i was trying it keeps losing the object as well it only has this downward vm sensor which will work when you are landing uh, if there is any object while you are landing it will see if the land is not clear it will hold there it will stop there on the other hand dji avatar 2 it has the obstacle avoidance it does provide you obstacle avoidance when you are flying it can drift through the objects and it can go through the narrow objects dji uh, new also you can fly it on the manual mode with your motion controller or the remote 3 but the experience which you will get the avatar 2 you cannot compare this Neo 2 with that this is this is not a hate hated video it's just I'm sharing my experience on this both of these drones on both of these drones so if you buy the DJI Neo and then later on you will decide to upgrade to the DJI Avatar you will have to spend a lot of money because this drone if you buy it with the uh, if you want to fly it on the FPV mode then you have to buy the goggles 3 and you have to buy the remote 3 so the cost will be close to a water 2 so why not a water 2 so these are my thoughts on these both of these drones if you do like the video please subscribe much in the next video I will fly both of these drones side by side and I'll have the range test and uh, both of these drones together and let's see which drone can go far so if you do like the video, please subscribe my channel. Until next time, ciao ciao.